Viva Pit Senior! Atong tagal ba si Pangpakpak si Senior Santo Nino? Alang sa mga batanon Hashtag What if Unsay imong buhaton kung ang imong greatest what if kuyog nimo sa pagsimba dinhi sa basilika What if kung ang tao nga imong gihigugma nagpabili nimo apan tungod lang sa kaluoy What if Kung nailain mo abot sa iyang kinabuhi na mas buutan, mas gwapa pa kay kanimo. What if kung naa siya'y laing option? What if kung ang imong giisip na home apan para nimo sa iya ikaw lang usa ka apartment o waiting shed? What if kung dili lang yun busy ang imong crush pero di lang siya mutubag o ganit mo sing sa imong message tungod kay di siya ganahan nimo o ang iyang gusto ang imong best friend What if kung naagihapon sa iyang gallery ang picture na sweetest moment sa ilang kuyog apil po ang iyang cellphone sa ex sa imong girlfriend. What if kung ang imong girlfriend nagsigig ihapog chat sa iyang ex o buwingo lang siya no malis. May gsoon, is it worth the risk to find another what if when you have all along the greatest what if in your life with you? I made that as an introduction because we have many what if in our lives. We tend to overthink to a certain extent that there would be pain, anxiety, and worries in our hearts. How can we have peace in our hearts when there is pain? How can we have peace in our hearts when we have worries in our hearts? Atong dunganon o basa. Ang atong tema nga naadres ay babaw unsay giingon Señor Santo Niño our source of peace in the walk of faith Brothers and sisters in our gospel reading today we have heard that there was a person being possessed by the evil spirit Kita na mugtaw nga giyawaan Tanawa iyong tapad. Basigi, yawaan na. Na may taga kauban na rin mong senior kikimbik, ipa-exercise. A person who is being possessed is a person who is being imprisoned his mind, his heart with the evil spirit. But I believe nobody here is being possessed by the evil spirit. But to a certain extent, we have a certain kind of possession. And that possession is pain in our hearts. Our theme says, Senor Santo Nino, our source of peace. And how can we have peace when there is pain? Brothers and sisters, what are the pains we are having right now? Sa atong pagsimba karon, 
unsa man nga klase nga makasakit ang atong gidala. There are three kinds of pain. Number one, repeat after me. Pain that we cannot show together. Pain that we cannot show. Doon ay mga kasakit nga atong gidala, pero dili na ito pwede ipakita sa uban. Magsugod pa na panahon nga kita bata, kabantay mo sa inyong anak, kung muhilak, mas kasabaan kung inyong anak batumba o niya mayon ma ang akong tuhod na kasamad asa man ka nag, natumba dito sa guwas mayra bunalan og samot and that will tell a child that the mo the moment you have pain you have to hide it dili pwede ipakita ang atong kasakit But there are people who do not show their pain para lang dili musamot ang kagubot. Doon ay mga tao nga dili magpakita sa kasakit because they are afraid to be rejected. There are people who do not show their pain because they want to show that I am okay. But deep inside, I am not Pila man kabok nato nga nisuway og hilak apan mutago ta dito sa atong kwarto Pila man kasuway nato nga muhilak nga dili nato ipakita sa uban For sure daghan man kaayong mga inahan nga nisimba dinhi Di ba mga inahan kung muhilak mo dili man ninyo ipakita Okay ba ko ang inahan muhilak sa kahilom sa panahon nga iyang anak magbundak-bundak sa tiil kay pahugason og plato. Ang usa ka inahan muhilak sa kahilom sa panahon nga iyang anak dugay muuli sa balay. Samtang nagpaabot ang usa ka inahan na hadlok siya kung asa na iyang anak apan inig abot perting sukua kasaban ng anak but deep inside There is pain of a mother. Ang usa kay nahan muhilak lang sa kahilom. Labi na ko ang iyang mga anak mag-away. Kay baw siya kinsay sayop, kinsay sagto, apan di siya musulti tungod kay inyo niya nga dunay favoritism. Ang usa kay nahan muhilak sa kahilom. Kung sa panahon ang iyang anak mangayo og kwarta aron ipalit og shopi. Apan why ikahatag ang inahan? Kumuton ang kasing-kasing sa usa ka inahan kung di siya kahatag sa iyang anak. Daghang panahon, we cry in the silence of our hearts. Dili nato ipakita ang atong kasakit. Mangutana ko din he. Palihog isa sa kamot. Kinsang mga asawa nga wag reklamo sa ilang mga bana. Isang kamot. Wak man. Wag yun, yung osa. Last call. Wag yun. Baliho na to. Isang kamot. Kinsang mga mga bana din hinga ni Simba nga wag yun reklamo sa ilang asawa. Wag yun. Mangotana ko din yun. Kinsa mang mga ginikanan nga naa din ni kanon nga wag yun reklamo sa ilang mga anak. Wag yun. Bisang usa. Last call. We have so many complaints in our lives. But when we complain, we just hide in our hearts. Brothers and sisters, To show our pain is not really a sign of weakness. The real weak person is the one who runs away from pain, who evade their problem. Like our Lord on the cross, 
He showed that he was in pain. If you cannot show your pain to others because you are afraid to be rejected, open your pain to the Lord because He understands our pain. You are very special in the eyes of God. In our first reading, we have heard from the book of Hebrews, What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? Remember, our tears teach us to be stronger. Our pains teach us to be braver. And our sufferings teach us to be wiser. Number two, pain that we cannot let go. Dunay mga kasakit nga atong gihandom karon nga dili yun nato mapadaplin. Pila man kabuok ni Simba karon nga dalagi hapon ang atong kalagot sa atong TL. Ang atong kalagot sa atong kauban sa opisina. Bisa na nakadini sa simbahan ang imong gihuna-huna, ang imong gihapong maistra na perting daghan ng gihatag o project. Usahay ang atong kalagot, ikaw inahan, naglagot sa bana, apang di ka kasukol, ang imong pahimungtan, ang imong mga anak. How many of us go to the office, go to school, Without the presence of mind, nakasuway na ba mo nakasakay o jeep? Ngahapit na mudagayday ang mga luha sa ibu mga aping tungod sa imong kalagot, because you cannot just let go. Sometimes we cannot let go of the memories. Because they are the constant reminder that of a great memory that we thought it will never end. We cannot let go of what's giving us so much pain and what's making us so sad because that was the only thing we thought that would make us truly happy. Let go of your past so that God can open of your future. The truth is, unless you let go, unless you forgive the situation, unless you forgive the situation, unless you realize that the situation is over, you cannot move forward. According to First Peter five seven, cast all your anxieties to Him, for He cares for you. Number three, pain that makes us grow. Dunay mga kasakit nga mahimu natong maayo ng tao. There are pains. That we experience, that teach us valuable lessons in life. There are pains that gives us valuable instructions in life. Don't focus on the pain, but focus on the lesson the pain brings. Sometimes you need to get hurt. In order to know, fall. In order to grow, lose. In order to gain, because life's greatest lessons are learned through pain. Na koy usaka suggestion. When you are in pain. Hold on to the image of Senor Santo Nino. 
when you want to give up with your life, hold on to the image of Senor Santo Nino. Dili lang panahon sa novena, dili lang panahon sa procession, but in our daily ordinary life, where we encounter pain, where we encounter struggle, the image of Senor Santo Nino is not just a decorative image in your sala. Sa panahon nga doon na kay kasakit, when you want to give up with your life, when you do not know what to do with your life, when you are at the crossroads of your life, get hold of the image of your Santo Nino. Embrace Him and cry in front of the image. And Senor Santo Nino will give us hope and consolation. My dear brothers and sisters, wagay-wagay man ta sa atong kamot. To end my homily, may request you to please put all your hands on your chest. Let us close our eyes. In the silence of our hearts, we pray to Senor Santo Nino. Senor Santo Nino, heal us from all the pains of life. Senor Santo Nino, give us the courage to let go. Senor Santo Nino, give us the strength from the pains to make us grow. Senor Santo Nino, you are the source of peace in the walk of faith. Amen.